Chapter Four of A Story of One Short Life, seventeen eighty three to eighteen eighteen, by Elizabeth G. Stryker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter Four The Sandwich Isles with and Without the Gospel. Surely the Isles shall wait for me. The missionaries found upon these islands naked savages without books, education, or courts of justice. The people were slaves, governed arbitrarily by chiefs. It was a nation of debauchees, thieves, and drunkards. There were no marriage laws. Two-thirds of the children born were destroyed. If an infant was ailing or troublesome, the mother scooped a hole in the ground, covered the child with earth, and trampled out its life. The aged and infirm were taken to the brow of a precipice and pushed over. The sick were removed to such a distance that their groans could not annoy and left to die. The insane were stoned to death. God opened the way for the missionaries by a revolution which did away with idolatry, but did nothing for the uplifting of society. Some of the noblest specimens of our American manhood have devoted their lives to these desolate, faraway creatures. The mention of one will suffice as a sample of the salt that purified those bitter and filthy waters. When he stepped on the shore at Hilo in 1832, it was to stay till his work was finished, and he lived beyond the three score and ten. Such a life is a rebuke to the restfulness of many modern workers. For forty-two years he labored patiently in pressing himself and what he knew upon Hawaiian youth nearly a thousand in all, many of whom are now pastors, leading lawyers, men of affairs, missionaries to Micronesia, and the men who stand for righteousness in the native churches. Great events and advances in science were exciting his native land, but he worked on, struggling for things unseen and eternal. Amid uninspiring surroundings and performing many menial duties, he led a high spiritual and intellectual life, not seeking honor but service, thereby gaining honor and the rest that remaineth. As for the results of such consecration, wisdom, and work, the facts are a marvel in history. Any prophecy in regard to them would have been thought a wild dream. These islanders have taken their place among the Christian nations. Marriage is considered honorable the family established, as well as schools, churches, and a government whose constitution ordains that no law shall be enacted at variance with the word of the Lord Jehovah, or with the general spirit of his word. In proportion to the population, there are more readers than in Boston. The proportion of true Christians is as great as anywhere in Christendom. They are decently clad, their homes are comfortable, even sometimes going so far as to possess a melodeon and a sewing machine. They have progressed in agriculture, commerce, the industries, literature, and the arts. It is a regenerated nation. The American Board has erased this mission field from its list and transferred all responsibility to the Hawaiian Evangelical Association. End of chapter 4